The podcast that you're about to enjoy is part of the Low Tree Studios podcast network. To enjoy more great podcasts like this one, visit LowTreeStudios.com. From Low Tree Studios, featuring topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grind, this is the Jason and Mindy podcast. My name is Jason. And my name is Mindy. Hello, wife. Coming up, I will share truth or urban legend with Mindy. Mm. A little quiz thing there. Uh, And Mindy, what are you sharing? I am going to be sharing words and phrases banned for 2023. Really? Mm -hmm. I sent you a segment and I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. I should have used it. Yeah, you should have because I didn't. I I was like, well, maybe I'll just save that as a, a backup. Dang. Yeah. Send her stuff and she uses it as a backup. Mm-hmm. Not cool. Well, uh, I don't even really like the one we're going to talk about today, but we'll try and make it wow. fun. Wow. Picking stuff she doesn't like, everybody. Mm. <laughs> can be a great podcast. <laughs> and of course, we've got entertainment news, question of the podcast, and all the fun stuff that comes with this show. Welcome those of you listening on your favorite podcatcher. And of course, welcome Mindy. Hello. Another show, not live. Yes. Just easier. It is. It is. It's just easier. We can do whatever we want on Sunday. You know, sit down here at our podcast table. Yeah. Yeah. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. On a yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Super, it's a, a playoff weekend. There's uh, more playoff football. football My games. team's playing today. If people like football, I, I enjoy football. Uh, stayed up really late last night. Did my thing with the guys where we get together and uh, they FaceTime me in to them hanging out. And I just kind of watched them hang out, you know, mm-hmm. just kidding. Um, but you guys watch the UFC. Fight. Yeah. It's kind of a thing we do. It's a tradition that we've done since I moved out here. Um, and it was pretty good. It was very, uh, very bloody fights last night. Mm, gross. Some of them were gross, like really bad. They stopped one of them because the guy's eye was completely closed, Ugh. completely closed. Gross. It's hard to watch. I mean, I watch it. it. Is. It but is. I don't, I don't really, that's not my favorite thing to watch, you know? Okay. So last night I didn't, I didn't tell you this this morning, but, um, last night I went to bed early. I was tired cause I had gotten up at four yeah. the morning before yeah. and it, it's been that way because I get up at four every day. So I just, my body just wakes up at four, but anyway, I digress. So <laughs> I was going to bed and I was, you know, doing my thing. And then all of a sudden I heard this buzzing sound and oh, I no. thought, and it sounded like one of those, well, what I thought to be one of those big cockroach looking uh, bugs in the room. Uh, but I was like, so I got up and I had my flashlight on and I'm like looking around the room. Do you know, it was so loud. It, I opened the front door. It was it happened to be outside. What but it, it sounded just like, I don't really even know. It was some kind of bug buzzing, making very, very loud buzzing noises. But it was outside the front of the house. And it was creepy, too, because when I'd open the front door, it uh-huh. stopped. And then so I'd shut it. And then it'd start back up. And then I kind of peered it open a little bit more. It was still going. So I knew it was outside. So I was, but I was going to go tell you. Mm -hmm. So, but you were outside smoking a cigar. And for the longest time, I was staring out the window where you were sitting, like staring at you and you never saw me. Really? (laughs) That's hilarious. (laughs) So I just went back to bed. Yeah. It's because I had, you know, I had the headphones in. I can't. Yeah. It's all. I thought I felt felt something or heard something. And then when we were out, I moved the, my party into the back room. So it wasn't loud for you. So that's oh, not a problem, but I knew it would be loud and it'd wake you up. Mm-hmm. Um, and blue barked at something. Oh, he so did? I don't know what he was barking at, but oh. this it was later on. He like looked up and he was growling and I was like, what is going on? For real? Yeah. Wow. I thought maybe it was just you he heard, but Mm-mm. I never went and checked cause I, I didn't care. Hmm. That's my story. It's a really great story, I know, right? <laughs> um, anyway, we always open up with some, 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 something, 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 something. Some. Is there any other something so we got going on? I don't think there is. Um, I have a gig next weekend, next Friday. It's, it's your birthday also weekend. my birthday weekend, so we will not be podcasting next weekend. Right. Uh, just want to take the day off. That's kind of my thing. I want to enjoy. Well, it. it's your birthday weekend. Yeah. So we you're taking a weekend uh, off because. Right. I may have something planned for Saturday. I don't know. I'm not promising anything, but we'll see. No pro- no worries if you don't. I'm not that, it's not that big of a deal. Even mm-hmm. just if we went to the beach. I mean, it's just, I really, the point for me is I don't want to have to do anything unless I want to, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? 
Um, all right, cool. So let's get into this little thing I have for you. Did you know, Mindy, a, a study warns that more than a billion young people are at risk for hearing loss from wearing headphones and earbuds. Mm. Yeah, the findings published in the journal BMJ Global Health say the loud use of personal listening devices, which we have headphones on right now, uh, as well as going to loud live music gigs is placing the younger generation at risk. Currently, more than 430 million people have disabling hearing loss, and young people are especially vulnerable because of the use of these devices. You're headed in that direction. Oh, I've already been there. Well, yeah. I know you've yeah. been there, but you're yeah. one of those. Yeah, so we went to the doctor. We, we we switched our doctors, and we went last Friday. And uh, I had to. we had to get several appointments and referrals, different people. So this, the other doctor didn't do referrals, you know, he would just give us prescriptions and mm -hmm. um, whatever. Um, but now we have to do referrals. I have to go to a dermatologist and you know, all this stuff. Um, and I did the hearing thing, right? Cause I'm thinking, well, maybe I should get that checked out to see how bad it really is. And maybe I can get a, uh, one of those fancy earplugs that mm -hmm. they make. Cause I remember my friend a long time ago was a bass player and he got fancy earplugs. Um, so, but my appointment is in April. <laughs> I know, it's April. so crazy. So far out. But you know, you could put be put on a waiting list too, to, you know, for cancellations. Yeah, I didn't care. It didn't bother me. I'm like, eh, this is not like a huge priority. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I always have, I constantly have, ten, I call it tinnitus, where your ears ringing all the time. Yeah, that I think that's what it's called, right? Tinnitus. Yeah, very uncomfortable. It's uh, probably why I need a fan on at night, so I can drown out the noise in my own head. Wow. You know? Hmm. So... Not good, Jason. Anyway, that's all I have. Let's get into entertainment news. You ready for it? I am. Okay. It's entertainment news with Mindy. You're gonna get yourself some entertainment news. First up, details have been announced for a public memorial for Lisa Marie Presley. She she will be honored at Graceland, her father's former home, this Sunday. And Alec Baldwin and prop armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed, that was a big long mm -hmm. Mm. last name, will both be charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter for the shooting death of cinematographer uh, Hena Halna. It's H A L Y N A hmm. Hutchins. Anyway, um, and then the Helena, maybe yeah. Helena. Yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the movie uh, assistant director Dave Halls, who handed the weapon to Baldwin and announced it was a cold gun, signed a plea bargain accepting a suspended sentence and six months probation for neglect using that deadly weapon. But wow. you know, I have been listening closely to the story and it's very interesting um how much alec baldwin just kind of like denied and lied about a lot of things so mm. um I, I guess he's getting what's coming to him for that interesting um, yeah and you know it's weird too because the movie that they were working on all people involved in it even the i guess the people of the deceased they're all going back to do the movie together can you imagine how awkward that would be? Yeah, that would be pretty weird. <laughs> it's your job, though, I mean. In music notes, uh, Casey Musgraves, she and Reese Witherspoon have a new show coming up on Apple TV. Witherspoon and Musgraves are executive producers for My Kind of Country, <laughs> uh, an unscripted competition series debuting on March 24th. And lastly, uh, Thomas Rhett is expanding his line of high-end liquor. He has announced the March debut of his new Dos Primos Tequila uh, Anejo, I think is how it's pronounced. According to him, it is a super smooth and flavorful tequila that can be enjoyed year round. And he can't wait for everyone to enjoy it. Nice. Thanks, Thomas Rhett. <laughs> you know who he is, right? It's a country singer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that's Mindy's Entertainment News. It is. Hey, babe, you know the time has come. For you to answer the question, the question of the podcast. It's coming your way real, real fast. Yeah, baby, you know the time has come for you to answer the question. 
right, so we don't normally get political on this podcast. Obviously, Mindy and I have our own political points of view, uh, and we discuss them in private, but we don't generally do that. Um, I don't know why, probably because, you know, when you do stuff like that, really the truth is it, it goes away from our motto of being a break from life's daily grind, mm -hmm. you know, uh, life, polit political stuff can be a grind. You so get we enough try of to that avoid every day. It. Yeah. Yeah. But, but definitely we have our own opinions. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of surface, go over the surface of the, of this question, uh, which is this, which three political issues are the most important to you? Mindy, do you have an answer? I do. Um, my Three are term limits, because I feel like the people that are uh, in office are in office way, way too mm. long. And I think we need stricter voting requirements, meaning uh, nobody that is not at least a registered American, uh, United States American. U.S. citizen. U.S. citizen. Th thank you. Yeah. Couldn't get the words. I, I'm having a hard time with words today. Have you noticed <laughs> that? Uh, anyway, I, I just feel like... Um, there should be very, very strict. Um, hmm. uh, really, very, very strict. Yes. You, want, you wanna, you wanna have to like uh, jump on a trampoline, through a hoop, uh, do a backflip, three sixty, in order to vote. I mean, you, you as a citizen of the United States, want to have to go through all that bullshit. You imagine the lines you'd have to go through. To, well, let me see this ID. Let me see this form of ID. You have that. You have your social security. You have your marriage certificate. How I don't, strict I don't are we talking about? I don't think that it would be difficult. You, you either have a driver's license and uh, some sort of uh, piece of document that tells you you are uh, what, what? a legal United States citizen. What For us, it wasn't difficult. That? It's your birth certificate. That's what you'd have to bring. Well, That's your legal document. Because people can get IDs, driver's licenses, without being a citizen. Well, no, I get that. But they still have to have some sort of piece of paper like we do to say that they are legal in some way. That they've went through the transition to be a legal um, United States citizen. Okay. That's all I, I would want. Uh, you know, it's it's so loosey-goosey where, you know, that just gotcha. about anybody can vote. And, and as many people as we've got coming over the border right now, um, that's, you know, what is expected in the near future to be voting. And there's no consequences. So you think that those people vote... I don't care how they correctly. No, it doesn't. I don't care how they vote because I do believe everybody has a vote. That's not the point. The point is, is just being a legal citizen to when, vote. when you vote. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing else about it. Just, okay. Yeah. There's rules for a reason. Right. Okay. And then the last one is, um, we just need, I, I feel so bad for the people that live near the borders. We need help there it's some somehow securing that okay i don't know the answers i'm not you know i don't want to get political on it i just i feel bad for the, all those towns all right uh, i didn't really think about this question so i'll just come up with some shit um <laughs> uh, i guess i'll go up i'll come up with some some uh it's the reasons why I left California, let's just, I'll just start there because I, I, I've said this many times before. I mean, I don't know if I've said it on the podcast. I probably have, but I, I, I never really thought about politics. I just lived my life. You know, I never really thought about it. I knew I lived in an expensive state. I didn't really even think about state income tax. It didn't bother me that much. Politics never really impacted my life mm. in a positive or negative way necessarily. Right. It was not, yeah, maybe it was harder to, uh, to, you know, get, to afford things in California, which I know has a lot to do with politics, you know, and the political choices that are made in that state. But uh, would it have been any easier anywhere else? Probably not, because I got paid a little bit more than everybody else. You mm -hmm. typically, right? California mm -hmm. income, you get paid a little bit more. So uh, I will say the uh, the way COVID was politicized um, in California is is one of my top three political issues that I have, the way that they handled that. Um, the homeless situation. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. And the way that is sort of, I don't know if that's a political issue or not. I wish we but could it can sue be. California for making us get that COVID shot. Well, it wasn't California that made us do it. It was our or company that made us do it. I know, but the company was forced also by the state of California. It, no, that was a federal thing that came down from 
President Biden. Mm. Yeah. He wanted all big corporations, big companies, over a certain well, amount of... Well, I want to sue somebody for making us do <laughs> that. Do you? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, I think you have to uh, You have to have damage. You have to show that there was damage done. Yeah, in thank God sue. not yet. But man, have you heard all s- some of the I stuff don't, coming out? Yeah, see, again, I'm not, I'm not Mr. Political. I don't care about that mm. stuff. Um, and then I, I don't know what else. So honestly. homeless and then... Yeah, I don't know even if that's a political issue, though. Well, I guess yeah, it sort because, of um, you know, s- s- putting some sort of law or solution to... Like, they're allowed to camp in the street now. That's yeah, changed. Just, that never was something you could do before. I right. saw a post just recently. Somebody posted on Facebook. I, um, It's like a site for Californians that have moved now and what their life is like now. But they had posted what different pictures of different areas in Mm -hmm. California of the homeless encampments. And they were talking about how that can't be true, but every one of those pictures is true. They showed Santa Monica, Venice, um, downtown LA. It's totally bad. It's people. It's funny when I talk to people because they, um, people that didn't live, that didn't live in California. Right. Uh, and I also don't want to be that guy, that guy that's taint, got a tainted perspective of it. I, I obviously do have a tainted perspective because it was enough for me to move. And I saw what it was like before, right? I mean, I witnessed what it was like before. Yeah. I, I lived there my whole life. So yeah. I saw what it was like when we would go down to Third Street, San, and San, San, Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica. And yeah, there were a few people there, right? There mm-hmm. was a few homeless, right? a few people but begging not- for money. And it was a beautiful... And it was just... I loved going down there. Mm-hmm. I absolutely loved it. And I watched it change, you know? So it... I didn't want to go down there anymore. I didn't even... And then our... our I think the worst example is our own hometown. Like, we never had homeless people nope. in our hometown. I like know. Like, in, in Lancaster, Palmdale. And man, you just... It's like you drive around and people are camping in the middle of the desert. It's... It's yeah. crazy. It's pretty bad. It's crazy. Uh, and then I'll say this one, this is just to be lightheaded and fun. Um, when's this daylight savings thing going to happen that we voted on? <laughs> right. I know. What the, what the hell we voted on this shit to yeah. not have it. I think it won and it's been five, six years now. What the fuck? I know. Let's change probably end up on another ballot or something. Come on, again. man. It's like, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Well, right, we've got it. some posts. Uh, Carol Chapel said, oh, and I hope Carol's feeling better. She's been under the weather. But she did remind me uh, <laughs> to post this <laughs> question because I almost forgot. Uh, anyway, Carol says taxes and the cost of living, mm, health yes. provisions. Now she lives across the pond. Yep, and uh, so it's going to be, a little, uh, it, it's interesting just to, you know, see what some other country is yeah, going through. But she sure. says, um, Health provisions, transport, infrastructure. I am retired and live in rural England. If you ask my grown-up children who are at a different time in their life, they would probably say jobs, education, and environment. Mm. And the politicians have to try and balance everyone's wants and needs. As they say, you can please some of the people all the time. You can please all of the people some of the time, but you can't please all of the people (laughs) all of the time. It's true. (laughs) Uh, Jessica says cost of living, crime, and health care. Now, she lives where we used to live in Mm, California. Crime, yeah. Crime is a big one there. Um, Bell says the politicians we vote for, we need a whole different way to vote. Yes. Well, Mm. not sure about a whole different way, but maybe we should exercise the way that it was meant like terms like speaker of the house mm-hmm. how can you have that long of a term for the speaker of the Ridiculous. house and stuff like that it's like stupid yeah rodney says term limits age limit we need to get mm. these dinosaurs out of office kill tax loopholes for the rich i like that too i mean it's then you then but then you get into ageism right i mean shouldn't you be able to work as long as you want to work i mean that's kind of a choice no i, I just think they need to put it cap i don't know that's tough that's a tough law you put in place. I, I don't care what age. You can apply for it at any age, but maybe your term is only four years or but, three but, years, just like a president. Or he's a, saying age limit, though. He's talking about like once they get to a certain age, they shouldn't still be in office. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you that's know, that's dangerous. part of maybe there should be, you know, um, some sort of testing to prove, you yeah, know, that I you're. Know. I mean, we have a president in office that can't even think, for, <sighs> you know. 
it, it's, sad. it's dangerous. You know what's interesting about that, and, and of course, everybody can have their perspective. I, I think it's sad. It is sad. I watch him and I think... This is this is like elder abuse or something, you it know. Really like it's is. like I just look at him and I go, "Does he even really know what's going on?" I don't think he no. does a lot of the time, and it is like I, I almost pity him and and shame on his family for allowing it to continue. You know, at some point, whether you're the president or not, it's pull not, your family. It's member not just out. family. It's 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 the political side. They don't. They don't want to surrender it. Yeah. Anyway, sad. Move on. Anyway, okay. And then Carol says immigration, inflation, mm. and fuel reserves. Hmm. Sarah says inflation, honesty, trust, and affordable health care. So it seems like health care is a big one. Yeah. And that's it. That is a big one. That's a that's a really good one. Even we healthcare feel that. is so expensive. It is uh, amazing what people have to pay that work for a living, paying for their entire family. I was talking to a guy this week. Uh, he said that that he had to pay. He was paying like two hundred seventy seven dollars a paycheck for him and his family. Wow, yeah, that's a lot. It is that's a, a lot. lot. I don't. I mean, and then what's most frustrating? You still have to pay after your when you go to the doctor. Yes, too. Yeah. yes. And then what's most frustrating, like the doctors that we now go to out here in Florida. You, you see your doctor, but then you've got to see, you know, 10 other ones at different facilities. Different prices. We were pretty spoiled with Kaiser. It was yeah. all in one place, which I just think would be more efficient, even, you know, money-wise for the business itself, Yeah, is to have everything sort of in-house. I mean, why do you got to go? It's just, you know, and it's, it, then you get, you're getting into competition and all that crap. That yeah. I, I will say one thing about California. I mean, Kaiser's not perfect. I know that, but uh, they did, California did have better healthcare options, at least for the company yeah. that we work for out in Florida. It's not as not good, the, no. not as good, but no. All right. You know, you take, you take, uh, you take the good with the bad. You do. You there is do what you gotta do. good and bad. All right. So again, not podcasting next Saturday. We'll podcast the following. I mean, Sunday, uh, we'll, we'll podcast the following weekend. But we do have a question. But we do have a question. And it is this. What do you dream your life will be like in 10 years? Wow, that's tough. I don't try to do that much, but but mm. that, that'll be, it'd be something to think about, right? Okay. Um, okay. Mindy will post it. We, you can respond. She'll probably wait a week to, repo to post it so it doesn't get too buried on our stuff. But... Mm -hmm. uh, you can respond and we'll, of course, feature it. All I'm right. Hand me the card, to, sir. Hand it to Mindy. And of course, Mindy will forget. So Carol will remind her. <laughs> I, I am trying to be better. And I almost, I think we were thinking about it at the same time, but I, anyway, it, yeah, I got good. excuses. No, so. no big deal. All right. You're so fine. words and phrases banned for 2023. Hmm. So Michigan's Lake Superior State University. Are these, is this legit? I think they are. Okay. Yeah. Um, whether I, there's a few of them I don't agree with, um, so there's a few I don't even know, but anyway, mm. uh, so Michigan's, uh, Lake Superior State University has released its 2023 list of words banned for the Queens English for oh, mi Queens mi English, yeah. misuse, yep. overuse and general uselessness. Okay. So the first one up is GOAT and it's an acronym. Yeah. It's greatest of all time. Yes, it is. Yeah. How did you know that? And because you, people use it in the sports world all the time. It's oh, pretty annoying. It, oh, okay. Because like I was Tom Brady's the goat. LeBron is he the goat? Uh, oh. Michael Jordan's the goat. Okay, because I was like, what are they talking about? Yeah. I never even heard of that before. Yeah. So sports world. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, okay, so the next one is inflection point. Never heard of this one Never. either. No. But no this mathematical term has entered everyday parlance and lost its original meaning. Really, it's just a pretentious way of saying turning point. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you I might can see that. say inflection. the inflection point has reached its saturation point. <laughs> is that a little joke, I guess? Yeah. Uh, quiet quitting. Uh. Never heard of this either, but... People do it all the time. Trendy, but inaccurate. Not an employee who incons inconspicuously resigns, huh. but an employee who completes the minimum requirements yep. for a position. Yep. I don't get it. Explain. 
Okay, uh, you've seen them. People that are doing the bare minimum and almost less than that. Oh. They call it quiet quitting. Oh. Like you're not going to quit. You're, you're not really quitting. You're just uh, still going to get paid but not do very much. Do the bare minimum. Now I, I will, see a lot of um, people that are going to retire do that kind of stuff. Yeah, people do. And people that are like moving to another job. Oh, okay. or, like so let, Let's say you just got a new job and now you're just kind of kicking back waiting for the other job um it's a weird thing though because corporations can breed it a little bit too now i'm not saying you should ever quietly quit right mm -hmm. i'm not saying you should ever just do the bare minimum now have i done that absolutely we all have right and there and there's weeks where you do that right there's weeks where you're just not feeling it i mean not everybody i think even if you look at pro athletes they're they're not they don't have good games every every right. game Right. And sometimes yeah. they'll take a playoff to, to relax. You know, it's just the way that it is. We're human beings. Um, but corporations can breed that a little bit in the sense that they don't, there's too many people, the, the managers are overworked or whatever. Mm -hmm. They don't have the opportunity to uh, recognize other people. If you have bad leadership, you don't get recognized. So, well, fuck you. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go over above, uh, or above yeah. then if you're not, if you're not uh, going to, yeah. recognize me if You'll you're not going to see me then mm -hmm. i'm then screw it I'm, i don't care about your mission that happens a lot yeah, it happens a lot that. in big corporations yeah absolutely yeah you've seen it you've probably actually, even felt it yeah, oh yeah 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 huh interesting see this is the informative part of our our, our podcast yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean i'm getting informed <laughs> all right gaslighting i've heard this one a lot yeah, yeah. especially in the political world so on one hand it's overuse has watered it down overuse. its connection to the real concern it used to identify dangerous uh, physiological manipulation that causes victims to di distrust their thoughts feelings yep. or perception of reality on the other hand People are now using that term incorrectly to refer to any conflict or disagreement. Yeah, which I don't, you I don't, hear a lot on the news. I do. I never really understood what the word meant. Um, only recently did I understand it. And it's it's the it's this you know what what it is right? It's the scenario where you know you're right, mm -hmm. but you you're like I know I'm right about this, but someone's so blames you for being wrong or yells at you for being wrong about oh, gee, it that, that, yeah. that you think <laughs> that you start to think you're not right. Uh -huh. you, start a little to doubt, crazy. you start to doubt yourself like you're crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's gaslighting. <laughs> Even though they're the ones doing mm -hmm. some shit wrong or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And well, um, this one we've all heard moving forward. Uh, this overused term is often used by police politicians and other leaders in their own self-interest evasions or dis disingenuousness mm. so mm, interesting I, you hear that a lot so moving forward yeah it's like a way of dismissing yeah uh the word amazing huh. a worn out adjective used by people who are short on vocabulary yeah mm. okay all right uh does this make sense saying that phrase is needy scheming and or cynical yeah it's almost like you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean yeah i know what you mean i i heard you so i know what you mean ah uh -huh. when people say you know you know what i mean so by saying does this make sense so you're kind of questioning oh, yeah, it can, whether it can be condescending yeah okay. yeah like uh does this make sense but i think if you're genuinely asking does this make sense am i making sense yeah i guess it would yeah. depend on the yeah. context okay I used to be guilty of this next one, um, and I think probably I just feel like may maybe it was in the setting of you, David, and Stephanie, and the difference between us. Mm. But I used to say, "Irregardless." Ye yeah, it's not a it's word. Not a word. It, yeah, regardless. It's, it's just sufficient. regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I say this one all the time. I still like it. Absolutely. I don't see anything wrong with that word. I don't either. And I think it's better than just saying yes, because uh, I, so I like, use it a lot at work. So if I'm asked to do something, I'm absolutely. like, absolutely. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I, yeah, I, I think, think sure is the, I don't like sure, sure. That's, yeah. That's kind of like, it's like a fake ass yes, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the last one, it is what it is. I say that a lot. The phrase has also banned in 2008 because of its pointlessness and the fact that using it basically hmm. is a cop out. 
Hmm. I don't think that's true. I think it depends on how you're using it. Yeah. You can just go, well, there's nothing I can do about it, so I'm going to move on. Yeah, that's that's the way I look at that. But uh, all right. Well, thanks, Mindy. Appreciate that. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. You didn't like it. I thought it was great. You no, know, it was actually turned out. I, I didn't <laughs> think that you were going to have that much to feed on. So, And I learned a lot from you. So well, hey. there you go. Um, now to learn a little bit more. In the last 4,000 years, no new animals have been domesticated. Wow. Hmm. Fun fact. Yeah. There's no such thing as pear cider. Cider, uh, all cider beverages, alcoholic beverages, are made from apples and apples only. And if there's a pear cider, the drink is known as Perry. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mindy, monkeys floss their teeth how do they do that probably with sticks and oh bullshit. yeah yeah I don't yeah, know. yeah okay something nice pineapples work as a natural meat tenderizer the fruit is packed with enzyme bromelain which breaks down the protein chains interesting all right fun facts in the books <laughs> All right, we got truth or urban legend. Let's find out if Mindy knows what is a myth and what is true. Okay. Okay, women have one more rib than men. Is that a myth or is that true? Um, the Bible says Adam I know. took a rib from Adam. I think to, that's a myth. He took a rib from Adam to make Eve, I think is what yes, the thing is, I, right? Yes, I but I want to say it's a myth. It's a myth. Nice yeah. job. Keep track of your score. Okay. <laughs> okay. Myth or truth or myth? Cedar chests deter insects. Um, I believe that's true. I think it's the wood. Definitely true. Yes. Yeah. A uh, house made of cedar will not have termites. Mm. Uh, but I think it's a soft wood, so I don't know if that's possible. But anyway. No, it isn't. Cedar? I think it's, it's no a softer wood. I don't know about that. Uh, whim, okay. Uh, fright can turn a person's hair white overnight. Not, no, not over. No, that's BS. Yeah, right. That's no, BS. I think stress can cause gray. It's a myth. <laughs> it's a myth for sure. Uh, truth or BS, milk is good for an ulcer. Mm, boy. I'm going to say True. No, it is a myth. It is a myth. It is a myth. Wah, wah. What if you have lac? What if you're lactose intolerant? Now you got double now you trouble. Got double trouble. Mm. Right. I almost said I should have stuck with the gut. Okay. Truth or BS? Lightning strikes never strikes in the same place twice. Mm. Myth. It is a myth. Yeah. Well, if lightning strikes one place, it's likely to strike there again. Mm -hmm. It's like there's an energy. Yeah, I was thinking, on. why why couldn't it? So yeah, uh, the first frisbees were empty pie tins from the frisbee pie company. Really? Is it oh no! <laughs> oh. Wow, truth or BS? <laughs> I don't know. Is it really? <laughs> oh really? That's interesting. Um, I'm gonna go with. Uh, well, why not? Let's go with uh, it being true. It is true. Nice. Is true. That's a fun fact, Jace. Frisbee pie company. You get a twofer. <laughs> a baby bird's mother will reject it if you pick it up because your scent will be left yes. on it. Have you heard that? I have heard that, yeah. but I want to say that's not true. It is a myth. Yeah. It is not true. Um, Adidas is an acronym for all day I dream about sex. Truth or BS? BS. Total BS. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good one. Cooties are in fact a kind of body lice. Is this true or BS? Oh, boy. I'm going to say BS because I think cooties is like, it's like a sickness um, on you. Like coot no, cooties is is a, a kind of body lies. Really? Yeah. Gross. Gross. Well, I got two wrong. And then the last one. The letters in the standard keyboard were originally placed to, sh to slow typists down. True or BS? I'm going to say BS. It's true. To slow type this down? Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's interesting because I, I always thought by placing those particular keys that it 
enhances and makes you type faster. I wonder why it's not put in alphabetical order. That's what I wonder. (laughs) Why wouldn't you do that? We all know the alphabet. Why would we place them like that? I know. There was no methodology in that. That's interesting to find out why even, like you said, the alphabet was placed in the way that that it is. Why wouldn't you just do alphabetical? (laughs) Maybe it's to create balance in your hand uh, when you're typing. If you, if you do the, you know, yeah, that's true for chicken peckers though. I would rather it be an alphabetical. Yeah. Because you could just way easier for me. Like a piano. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, what you got for me? Yeah. Podcast, not question of the podcast. Water cooler question. Water We got a lot of questions. We do. And it creates combo. A lot of questions. All right. The question is this. About 35% of the, uh, uh, boo. About <laughs> 35% of us will go through life without ever having one of these. What are they? Hmm. 35% is kind of high. We'll go through life without ever having one, one of these. these. Um, 35%, that's kind of high, but not too high. So I'm going to give you a clue right away. Okay. You're in this, you're in this category. Wow. Uh, is it, uh, a broken leg or broke or broken bone? That's good. That's good. But no, that is not it. Okay. I was almost in that category. Um, let's see. Oh, a cavity. Nope. <gasps> really? Uh, a wisdom tooth is what I meant to say. Too <laughs> easy. <laughs> I was trying to think of all the things that I don't have. Like the, You never had a cavity in your life. I, well, no, I did. That's <laughs> why. I, but I, I was like, oh, crap, that's not the one. The one I was going to say, it was, God, that was, it easy. was wisdom. Yeah. Good job. That was quick. I didn't think you'd get it that quickly. Nice. Nice work. All right, Mindy. Um, Random questions. Yeah. Well, let's have some fun with these. Because right. I... I had some fun with these. I was like, you wrote shit down at first, you know, when you present me with these uh, lists of questions, I pick certain ones and I go, Oh, I don't know if these are going to be fun. But then when I, you know, start to research them a little bit, I'm like, Oh yeah, this is, this is good. So the first one up is what's your worst example of procrastination? Oh man. I had no tough. one right off today. That I do or that you do that both of us do. I absolutely hate it. And uh, I think is you it do the too. wealth doing the bills? Oh, it's calling people and yes. shit. I, yeah, I hate doing that. Yeah. That was mine. So what, what you're talking about is our, our spectrum bill went up. It went from $69.99 to $84.99. <laughs> who, ha- who, who makes this money around here? <laughs> right. And I hate that the way things are done nowadays because I'm old school and I like my bills coming to the house. Well, there's certain ones you can't. And so now it's paperless. So you, and I don't always check my damn emails. I just think it's annoying, a waste of time. So So then we get surprised when it drops out of our account because everything's automatic nowadays. Yeah. Who voted for that shit? (laughs) Because I try to control that as much as I can. But anyway. Yeah, that's true. And and so we go, I don't want to call. And it was really actually pretty easy. And the answer was, Oh, sorry. There's no promotions. That's your new price. Cause we got the promotion when you, you always get a promotion when you sign up. Mm-hmm. Right. And we need the powerful internet. We got all kinds of shit connected. We do the podcast stuff. We need good internet. You yeah. know, we just do. So we just $15 hike. With it. But I will say I'm getting close to not doing Netflix anymore. We barely fucking watch Netflix, dude. Yeah. I'm getting close to well, not watching Netflix anymore. I be- we, we, how often do we go on there and watch something? Netflix, I don't think is very good. 
I think there's other services that are better that I'm that we're using now. Well, it's uh, about something to think about. It is something to think about. We could do without certain things. But it's funny because we do this budget thing now with with this thing called Wine App. I we absolutely love we it. We love it. And, and Jason changed my life. With yeah, it. yeah. She used to spend a whole day doing the bills, and I was like, we've got to do something different. So now it takes us maybe thirty minutes. I mean, it's yeah. super super easy. Tops. Um, but. What it shows you is, okay, here you create a budget and it based and it on how much money you make. Creates and it, a pie. And every 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 bit of your money has a job, right? And so now we go into next month and we're like, you know, because you, you pay a month ahead is what you try to do. And of course we budget fun things and other things that aren't bills, Tons like extra stuff, money yeah. and stuff like that. But we start we're starting to realize everything's starting to go up. But our pay isn't getting increasing. Yeah, and you start to actually so you're like, well, really hey, now, now see we're, that. Now we're a little over on shit that we have budgeted because this went up and that went up. And it's like, it's true. It, it, it legit shows you the impact of things going up and, and income not changing. Right? Exactly. Because yeah. like, you know, you don't really pay attention no. to that. Um, not like you see it in front of your face the way YNAB shows you. Yeah. You, you know, like Jason said, we are always a month ahead on everything because you, you know, if anybody's done YNAB, you know that you're, you're supposed to do it a month you're ahead. You're always planning for so, your month ahead. So this new year brings like, okay, well, why are we short this month? And we were sitting there going, oh, well, shoot. This went up. We had yeah. what four or five different things that actually went up. went up. And it's not like we're short. We have it, but we you have money allocated for things, yep. you know, like this and that. And it's this is legit like extra money that we use for savings or this and that. Um, so it's not like we can't do it. It's just that now we gotta take from that part to pay fucking a bill and because that- you now you can kind of see why people, when they say they're dipping into their savings, if you're not really realizing it, it's Probably because of you're things not, like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's interesting, um, but the truth is... For you people can, who live paycheck to paycheck is what I meant to right. say. Right. So you can legit see things just keep going up, but your income <laughs> stays the same. Yeah. I mean, it, it eventually goes up because we do get raises, but but does it match? We'll find out, right? We'll, we'll find, find out. out. We'll find out. All right. So, um, so obviously we kind of got off on that thing, but it calling businesses to figure out yep. cost of bills, et cetera. Absolutely hate doing yep. it. Main reason is the customer service circus that you have to go through. That was my answer. I will say Spectrum's pretty quick usually. Um, I've never really have a lot of issues with them. Yeah. And then just simple for me, like uh, procrastination is wasting time on social media. You can mm-hmm. go down a rabbit hole. Yeah. I don't do that as much anymore. You're right though. But that, that, that happens. All right. So next question. Um, what fashion trend are you very happy that we are saying either good riddance to or have said good riddance to? Well, I would have said the mullet, but that's already well, well back. It's a different no, it version be of anything. the mullet. And I did have mullet on here. We didn't say goodbye to it. It's back. I know, but um, apparently I read something there. <laughs> it says this is. The, what they said about mullets, they never, they didn't look good in the eighties and they don't look good now. I mean, the way they're doing them now is a little bit different in the eighties. It was like literally business up front party in the back. Now it's like this different kind of shaved in the side thing. And it's, it's, it's so just a little weird. bit different, but kind of half Mohawk with the mullet. Yeah. I would say I'm glad we never brought the Pinto back. The Pinto? Yeah. Yeah. That car was ugly as shit. It was pretty ugly. Yeah. Um, I have one. Uh, high rise jeans on girls. Mm. High, high rise anything. They've come back a little bit. They though. have come back, but it makes your whole bottom look elongated and you just end up looking like you have a bigger bottom mm. half. Yeah. It's just bigger all around. I hate the, that mm. look. Mm-hmm. Always did. Um, and then, then there's this other little thing that was a fad for a while that it is called the tiny purse mm-hmm. and it's literally a micro purse. I just, I never was into it. I figured why bother? Yeah. Fanny well, packs. That's another one. No, I, I think fanny packs are useful, <laughs> but me and Stephanie both feel like those should just remain. Mm. <laughs> mm. Disagree. We've talked about this before. Okay. How about the man bun? Yeah, that's pretty pretty bad. It's as bad as the mullet, in my opinion. Yeah, and then the other one for for women was um, 
a haircut called the wolf cut where it's just shaggy around, but it looks like a mullet, but it's just kind of messy and shaggy around. It looks awful. Don't know what that is. And I think jeans with tears in them, Mm. I think are just, they should just leave. Don't you have a couple? Don't you have some jeans? No, but I'm talking like shredded. Like, oh yeah, I have a, you know, I don't mind like jeans that have like maybe a little worn or a little tiny tears, but I'm talking about the ones that go straight across your legs, Mm. full on tears. Right. It's just, uh, why bother buying them? (laughs) Oh, and the, the one that I, I think it's still in fashion right now because you and I are seeing more and more of this and you and I commented not too long ago about this, but it's those extremely tight leggings that go all the way into oh, the yeah, ass crack. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. It's Where you so can gross. see the girl's entire business. Entire business. Like, yeah. let's. what happened to leaving a little bit of the imagination? It's, yeah, it's just all your ass I can see, every bit of it. Every crevice. Goes, and how comfortable would that be? It's like wearing a thong all day. Don't know. I, I can tell I'd be you, pulling it's not a, I'd feel like I'd feel like pulling a wedgie out all day long. Oh, and you get some rubbing going on. No good. Mm-hmm. And how about Crocs as the last one? Ah, uh, no, I never liked Crocs. Me yeah, either. I don't think they're. I think they're lazy. They're lazy shoes. All right, last question. What is non-negotiable rule in your home? Fuck. Um, I have some. I think I know one for you. I don't know. I think yours is um, dishes out of the sink. You're always putting them in the dishwasher. You you can't stand dishes. Just sitting I don't in the like sink. dishes on the counter. That fucking bugs me. Well, see, there you go. I don't like dishes. I like to do the dish. I I don't like dishes laying around. That bugs me. I got to do it right away. Yeah, yeah that's, that's probably that's what I was thinking. Because yeah. you know we don't have too many rules, but um, there are a couple that for you and I, like no dog is on any of our living room furniture ever. Mm-hmm. That's just not gonna happen no it's not he's got his own bed and that's where he lays <laughs> he doesn't always like to be in it but. yeah and then um one for me is no shoes on any of my carpeted areas and i would actually prefer no shoes in the house but i'm overruled most of the time um i think that you <clears throat> you create problems when you do that to people like you, i you, don't you, know why that is though i'm gonna i'm gonna debate this because do you know what kinds of shit you walk on on the outside world and you're bringing that in your house i understand that but not the the problem is is now you you really i mean you th- look at how much of a problem it was when your when your mom was here your mom kept, kept she kept her shoes on and then she'd walk on the carpet and she'd sit on the couch with her shoes on mm-hmm. and it was i had to remind her probably 15 times <laughs> and so now imagine making them do that it from is the very jump with with family and and yeah but you and I I mean it's just kind mm-hmm. of an, an unspoken we just I do take it. my shoes off in yeah. the house I, I mean I, I but you put your shoes on in the morning you're walking around with your shoes in the kitchen and then you leave the house uh, you well, know, we have t- a tiled floor, so I don't mind shoes on yeah. tiled floor. It's carpeted it's carpet, areas because carpet grabs it. It does, and like right now, like our we're not dirty people by any means, but you can tell like our bedroom carpet how much it gets walked on. Just yeah, ugh, I just I hate carpet. But anyway, yeah, that's a pet peeve. All right, well, thank you, Mindy. Appreciate <laughs> that. All right. <laughs> Jason, Mm. look at everything as though you're seeing it either for the first time or the last time. Okay. And I really like this one. Think about this. Deserve your dream. Hmm. That's got some depth to it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I I was like, what? It's nice. And your last one I'm leaving you with today is you just can't beat someone who never gives up. Yeah. I agree with that. It's nice. Where there's a will, there's a way. That's me. Thank you, Mindy. I appreciate that. You're welcome. And guess what? Hmm. We have the rest of our Sunday. Yep. Got to mow the lawn. <laughs> Go out there and mow the lawn. <laughs> Your favorite chore. I don't mind it. I mean, I'm getting a little tired of it, actually. I'll admit. It was, mm-hmm. I loved our other house. Mowing the lawn was fucking easy. So easy. Just a little patch in the front. It was a little patch, but they, there, there was more bur- there was more trees to trim and stuff in that that house. But um, yeah, I did not like that so much. But I am loving this yard. 
I just don't like doing the weed eating. I, I when I'm doing the weed eating, it gets all over me. It gets it gets it's flinging. It's hitting my legs. It's like oh, I just feel like I'm getting abused out there. Well, maybe when I get a raises, we'll get a landscaper. <laughs> no, can't because <laughs> my there's my, no room in the budget no, right I can't, now. Can't <laughs> because the the the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the uh, internet bill went up, so I can't. <laughs> Thanks, internet bill. Yeah. Anyway. We're, we're joking, of we course. We're joking. We can make it happen. But. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that's it for our show. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, we will not be podcasting next weekend, so prepare for that. But we will return the following. Uh, thank you for listening to our show. If you yep. want to listen to more of the stuff we do, go to LowTreeStudios.com. We don't do a lot more shit. This is about it. Yeah, it really. is. Really. This is about it. Well, you know, you, you do fine tunings and once in a while. Nick was supposed to get a hold of me on that. He wants to do it again. He's but. the biggest procrastinator ever, <laughs> man. He's got a lot going on. Uh, but, you know, you do sometimes your music on the side and you'll post it or like you got some co- coming up with Jesse that yeah, you guys have been true. working on. I actually love this song. It's pretty cool. It's pretty great. And then, you know, we, we post. I posted it. You probably don't even know, but I posted a quote on our social media. Last yeah, I, I haven't, I don't go, I don't go, I haven't been on Facebook. I don't, I think, I'm thinking I'm just don't even want to be on there anymore, but. Some people uh, liked it, it, so. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll have to, you'll have to share it with me. Yeah. Because I don't know. Uh, enjoy your evening, your weekend, your week, and thank you for listening to the Jason Mini Podcast where we feature topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from Life's Daily Grind. We'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye.